Okay, uh, so in this uh, video I will uh, try to demonstrate how uh, flow can be used for multi-approval. Uh, so what we have here is a SharePoint list which is located right here and in this list we have a couple of columns there is a title column there is approver one approver two approver three and status and comments basically what i'll do i'll create a flow that will be triggered manually and when this flow is triggered then um, an approval will be sent to this person this and this those will be parallel approvals and uh, based on people responses the comments will be entered here after each of the approvals and the overall status of the item will uh, be updated based on the responses so if everyone has approved the item the status will change to approved and if one of these approvers have uh, rejected the item then the status would be rejected so the list is ready and uh, I pre-created this flow uh, so I'll show you what I've done so you get an idea and you can follow the steps uh, later if you want to create a similar uh, flow so let me go back to the flow and this is the flow that uh, uses this uh, multi approval it has the following sections um, first since the flow is manual we need to, to choose this action it's called for a selected item in uh, SharePoint and this is the starting uh, action of the flow uh, within this area we select the site address and then the list name for a selected item works with list uh, then we get item we need to use this action so then we can work with different uh, properties like ID, title, name, etc. The action here it gets the item, the current item which we with which we are working, and gives us access to this item's uh, properties. Um, so then we have this action which is called initialize variable this part is needed so that uh, we can store the responses from different approvers in this variable and then in the end we can get the overall response and change the item status based on this overall response so it could be either set to rejected or approved but uh, we need this variable just because we have multiple approvers and uh, so here I, I take this action initialize variable which is called all responses and the type is string uh, the value it, it's blank at the beginning uh, then we have the following logic we check if approver 1 exists, if approver 2 exists, and if approver 3 exists. Because if these fields are empty, then there is no point to send to start approval for these uh, fields. And um, uh, these conditions are necessary. Um, so uh, both three of these conditions, they have the same logic within and um, we'll get to this logic in a little bit and then after we check the conditions uh, updated the comments field and uh, um, then we get to this part which is append to string variable 
So we append to this variable all responses that we received from each of these approvals. If we put a mouse here, you can see it's a start and wait for the approval one. This one start and wait for approval two. And this one is start and wait for, for approval four. Well, actually it should be for approval three. So we can change how is my approval called? It's called approval four. Just to keep the name and convention right, we call it approval three. And then we add the response. Oh, I need to save it first. And now it will be response from approval three response. Great. So uh, here in this variable, all responses, we have responses from each of the approvals. And then we check if the uh, all responses variable does not contain reject. It means that everyone has approved the item. And as the last step, we update this item. Uh, it's also an action you, you can select in the flow. And in this uh, uh, action, we get the item ID, the title, and then we change the status value to approved. Uh, and if it contains reject, it means that one of the person have rejected this item. Then we update the uh, item in this list to reject it. Uh, one more point I wanted to get here to this area so you get a better idea. Um, each of these checks are the same. And here we check if approval one exists. I'm using the um, content of the approver claims and comparing it to null. Uh, when it means that if um, approver claims equals to null, then the approver uh, does not exist. And if no, then the approver exists. And if the approver exists, then we start that approval. We go, um, it's called, this uh, block is called start and wait for an approval. Uh, we give it a name, we assign it. So here it's assigned to a special, to approval one email. We uh, put it details. It's just a text here. Then we put a link to item and name. And so this is the approval part. And then based on this approval, we um, update item in SharePoint list. And what we do here, we get this item and we put the comments like approval one, um, then we get the display name of approval one and respond it, and then we get the response from the approval and put it in the comments <coughs> field. Um, the same, pretty much the same happens in the other two areas. Here we check if the approver two exists. Here we put um, the approver two claims is equal to null and then we go to uh, start and wait for approval two. Uh, we give it the title. Uh, here we select first to respond or everyone to respond. It's the same. Uh, we assign it to the approver two and uh, give it some details, a link to the item and the name of this item and 
then we update exactly as in the first case we update this uh, item uh, with some comments and um, then go to the next step the third part is exactly the same as this two the only difference is that we check for approval three and uh, respectively we start the approval with the approval three email um, and update the item with approval three display name and response so that's what happens um, when we try when we write this flow uh, the flow is ready I can click save and I can also do the flow checker there are zero errors zero warnings and then I can uh, uh, demonstrate how it should work if I go back to my list right here and create a new item just item one All right and for approval I just put myself Um, the status I put it as new the comments are empty and uh, no attachments for the time being uh, here you can put different people for this test purpose I put myself two times so I will get two requests to approve great so the item is saved so when I uh, select this item I can go here to flow and here I see this option multi-approval for three approvers I click on it it asks me to connect to to establish connection uh, so the connection is established I run this flow We can also trace the flow so these are the messages I received uh, we can go maybe the best way to show would be from here from approvals you see I received two approvals one approval is approved test comment from approval one yes so I approved and then if I refresh the item I can see the comments and also the approval two is done i'm going to approve it also for this small test to confirm yes if i refresh the page i see two comments and if i go back to this item I see also the status of the item changed from new to approved so this is quite uh, an easy and useful flow if you have some questions just feel free to write some comments and uh, happy learning and have a very good day